Right now, Northwestern playing five out. No one in the post. And Miller cop tickles the twine. It's a good start for Northwestern. Three zip. Northwestern up four. And a sluggish start offensively for both teams. Here's Young backing down Trace Jackson. Davis, bucket and a foul. Under five to shoot as Nance stops and nails the one-handed jump hook. Hook pass, Trace Jackson Davis, spin move, too strong. And the putback goes for Jordan Geronimo. Short rebound tipped to Lander. Long pass up ahead to Franklin. Gains closed, but a nifty move by Franklin to finish with the layup. So here is Trace Jackson Davis, and he is scoreless so far. Maybe he'll get an assist here, and he does on the kick out to Armand Franklin. Yeah, that's one of those situations where Young just needed to gather himself and utilize his full 6'10 frame. Franklin with the step back, got it. Trigger the inbounds pass with just one second left on the shot clock for Indiana. Four seconds until halftime. Lob to Trace Jackson Davis. That was the right idea, but he had to set his feet, and it's a shot clock violation. Try to get their leading scorer, Trace Jackson Davis, get him some opportunity. It's been the Armand Franklin show for Indiana offensively, however, and his layup makes it a one-point game early seconds of the second half. Cops got two triples tonight. Here's Al Durham, left it short. Rebound tip to Race Thompson, and there's his first bucket of the ball game left. Lander did a great job hauling that pass in. What a wraparound feed to Jordan Geronimo, and that's the future working for Indiana. G. Miller said that's sort of a magic or maybe not so magic number. Adige with the takeaway baseline from Armand Franklin. And Gaines! Indiana has not scored in three minutes. They've missed their last four shots. That's a tough look from Hunter, but it breaks the drought. Fight for that spot if you're Jackson Davis. Don't allow yourself to get blocked out easily. Al Durham with a triple for Indiana. Come on, Franklin. He's the one guy that's kind of kept Indiana in this from the offensive standpoint. Well, there's an alley-oop oh. for Trace Jackson Davis. That was a long time coming for the Hoosiers standout. Al Durham's got it now. 15 to shoot. Pull up. Got it! Al Durham, tie game. 25.8 left. It's been close in many of these games in their nine-game losing streak, but they've made mistakes down the stretch that have cost them. That's a huge start for Northwestern. Pete Nance with a hook shot. Nance on Thompson. This has been a matchup that has worked in Nance's favor before. And he sinks the turnaround jump hook. Adige with some wiggle. Got a switch. And it goes down. A shooter's touch for Chase Adige. Franklin off the curl. Rattles one down. A huge shot for Indiana to come within two. Sure is, when That double team has been a thorn in Trace Jackson's side all night. As Adige, oh, high no. off the glass. Come on, Franklin, he hit the game winner against Iowa. Can he do it here? He passes off to Durham at the whistle. Got it! 1.4 seconds left. It's a two-point shot. Inbound pass. It's Boo Booey, the heave, off the window. Not a bad look for Booey, but instead will play five more minutes. Ball was jarred free, Indiana still on it, six to shoot. Trace Jackson Davis with his first touch in a long time, and it drops. And nevertheless, I've always believed lefties still have an advantage because of that instinct of the defender. How about the pass from big to little? Five to shoot. Hunter at the free throw line, in trouble now, and at the hole, oh, he sticks it. Oh, man. Bowie with 12 seconds left, time of a premium now for Northwestern. Adige in the corner with the answer. Seven seconds left. Rear high, 24 points for Al Durham. It's Boo Bowie now, with Northwestern down three. He missed. And Indiana hangs on for a double overtime win to improve to 6-6 six and six in the Big Ten.